Present. Shahadi. Bynum. Present. Phillips. Spread. Present. Five present and two absent, Your Honor. Thank you, Fran. Folks, would you <coughs> rise and join me in our Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, folks, we're going to begin this evening with a uh, ceremony. Would uh, officers uh, Rink, Arneman, and Yates please join me at the podium? Right over here, gentlemen, if you don't mind. This ceremony is uh, the swearing in of our three newest members of the Muscatine Police Department, and uh, we're really proud and honored to have them here tonight. So, gentlemen, would you repeat after me? Mayor. I, Mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to raise your right hand. I always forget <laughs> that. Are you nervous? I am. <laughs> okay. So, we'll begin again. I. Brian Yates. Okay. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That we will support. That we will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the State of Iowa. And the State of Iowa. And that we will faithfully and impartially. And that we will faithfully and impartially. To the best of our ability. To the best of our ability. Discharge all the duties. Discharge all the duties. Of police officers in the city of Muscatine, Iowa. Of police officers in the city of Muscatine, Iowa. As now or hereafter required by law. As now or hereafter required by law. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank I will you. get you to sign a document here. <clears throat> but there's fine. And yes, if you would follow the board. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take advantage of this time at the podium and share a little story with you. On Friday, July 26th, Mr. Dan Ganser provided assistance to a Muscatine visitor from Canton, Missouri. Mrs. Nicole Ott was traveling into Muscatine to meet her husband, who was performing work at Monsanto. Mrs. Ott's vehicle was struck very hard by a vehicle which had run a red light. In her own words, I was very scared and upset. A wonderful man came to my aid and stayed by my side until I was taken away in the ambulance. He was very kind and very caring and continued to talk to me, keeping me as calm as possible until help arrived. This is how I found out that he worked for the city of Muscatine. As Mrs. Ott states, it's hard to find good, caring people who are willing to stop and help in these situations. I just wanted to say thank you to Dan through his employer. Hats off to the city of Muscatine for employing such a wonderful person. Dan, on behalf of your supervisors, your city council, the city administrator, and your colleagues here with the city of Muscatine, we acknowledge your kindness and caring attitude for other human beings and say we're proud to have you as an employee of the city of Muscatine. Congratulations. Come on up, Dan. Would you like Dan to say a few words? Oh, sure. <laughs> well, I think it all boils down to I was at the right place at the right time, and uh, somebody was in need of help, and I was glad to be able to help her. So, <laughs> thank you. And 
And Mr. Kaufman, I apologize. I forgot to hit those two buttons that you were. Oh, no. Do it over again. Man. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. And the last thing uh, on, on the agenda under item four, communications, is there anyone in council chambers this evening that wishes to speak to council <laughs> about an item or an issue that is not, not included in tonight's agenda? Now would be the time to come forward. Very good, we'll move on to item five. Consent agenda, the following <laughs> items are considered to be routine by the city council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion <clears throat> of these items unless a council member so requests, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda which includes item 6A Items 8A through F, filing of communications, 12A through C, and tonight's bills totaling, and this is a corrected figure, folks, if you have tonight's agenda, uh, these are the correct numbers, $1,357,133.47. Looking for a motion, so Council. Moved. Scott? Second, Your Honor. Second, Phil. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay? Motion carries 5-0. Okay, dropping down to item seven, public hearing. This public hearing concerns the proposed Colorado Street Improvement Project. The proposed reconstruction of Colorado Street includes a new turn lane from Park Avenue onto Colorado, a stop island at University Drive, three lane urban section road design, a new, a new box culvert, storm and sanitary sewer, water main replacement, private utility relocations and new sidewalks. The design incorporates the complete streets concept which allows for uh, multimodal transportation. The estimated cost is $2.95 million. Prior to any formal action by city council, a public hearing is required. Now is the time for the public to comment. Mr. Harvey, you would like to speak? Before you vote on the issue on... Name and address, sir. Oh, excuse me. Alan Harvey, 2206 Thank you. Oak Valley Drive. <clears throat> uh, I believe I'm correct. The last time I saw the d designs for Colorado Street, it included sidewalks on the north side of Colorado, starting at Park Avenue and extending along Colorado until you get within maybe one, 200 feet of university, and then the sidewalk stops. And I questioned at the time when I was at a public meeting concerning the design, why they stopped the sidewalk short of university. And as I recall, I was given two kind of broad, what I thought broad brush uh, reasons. One, the cost of extending it, the other one to 200 feet. And the other one was we would not like pe pedestrians crossing uh, university. And I thought, well, gee, you're doing a th basically a $3 million project. Surely you could you know, add another couple hundred feet of uh, sidewalk to the project. And so that sidewalk could connect to the sidewalk that is across the street on University at the Clark, uh, Clark Jefferson's, uh, uh, not Clark Jefferson's. Uh, anyway, there's a sidewalk across University. And <clears throat> Then I thought, uh, as far as pedestrians <laughs> crossing university, you may recall that one of our trails crosses Highway 22 at the foot of what we call uh, Weed Park Hill, and that same trail crosses university up at Ford Avenue, and it also crosses Colorado, that trail, so I can't see that being a big issue of having a sidewalk across university since you're <coughs> crossing at the uh, the trail crosses at, uh, at least once. And I thought it might be fitting with uh, the emphasis on complete streets, whatever that means. And the Blue Zone initiative, you know, that we give pedestrians opportunity, you know, to walk along Colorado and at least connect with the sidewalks that are, although they're not all complete, but at least with the sidewalks going up University. So when you get to 
item G, I'd hope that if you approve item G, that you at least put in the proviso that the design includes extending the sidewalk to the last one or 200 feet to reach the intersection uh, there at the uh, university. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. Anyone else care to comment? Council? Move to close. Motion second. to close, Scott. Uh, second, Phil. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 5 0. Now down to item 11 from the city administrator. Presented for City Council's consideration is the second and final reading of an ordinance vacating public right of way in the City of Muscatine. The property owners who reside at 305 Burnside are requesting the sale and transfer of a 20 foot wide unimproved alley remnant located behind their home. The vacation of the remnant would allow for the construction of a detached garage. The Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously approved the request with the provision the entire unimproved alley remnant be sold to avoid leaving the city with any landlocked property. Uh, the owners of the property are requesting the third reading of the ordinance be waived and that it be adopted on the final reading. Is there a motion to approve the final reading of the ordinance as submitted and to direct, uh, and to direct for its publication as required by law? So oh, moving on. That would be Bob. Second. And a second, Tom. Any discussion, Council? I believe uh, we have someone in Council Chambers that would like to uh, address Council. What's your name and address, sir? My name is Dennis Schroeder. I live at 301 Burnside Avenue. I'm probably a day late and a dollar short here, but uh, I'm two houses down. A part of that alley right away is on my property. I support the proposal for the Clarks to build their garage. I have no problem with that. It's an expensive investment and the tax, tax for the city will be much enhanced. I made a previous presentation to the board, the zoning board, I guess. But the situation is taking a different twist, and that's why I want to explain my situation now. The alley in question is a landlocked parcel of ground that has never been of use to the city of Muscatine, never been used by the city. The subdivision dates back 85 years to 1928. The alley right away function over the 85 years has been part of the backyard of four property owners, <clears throat> uh, which are neighbors to the Clarks. Ten years ago, I inquired at City Hall about obtaining title to the alley right away. I thought it would benefit both me and the city. I would be obligated to pay taxes in perpetuity, and uh, I would get rid of the restriction on my property. The city engineer said I would have to pay a dollar five per square foot for that to happen, which was over a thousand dollars. I thought that was a little steep at the time because Cindy Clark had offered to sell me a twice that much property behind that lot for $500. That transaction did not happen because they had subdivided once before and by Iowa law you can't subdivide twice so that didn't take place. So I kind of blew that off and forgot about buying that property or the alley right away. Uh, The city, in my view, has no invest in investment in the alley to this point, and it seems to me it would be a win-win situation if the city would simply, by quit claim deed or some nominal sum, offer that alley right away to the adjacent landowners who have been dealing with it for 85 years. That option would give the clerks title to the land and a permit for their garage. I've discussed this with Dan. He indicated that he has the opportunity to buy the entire right of way because they own the west side of the alley. Uh, that perplexes me a bit because that would give Dan a portion of my land that has been, well, it's not my land, it's city land, but it's been under my backyard jurisdiction for 85 years. Uh, 
He also advised me that there would be shared surveying costs to the tune of $700 and other closing costs. And I had measured stakes previously within three or four inches of where the stakes that the surveyor now has placed. So I can afford to buy that property, but it doesn't make me happy. Uh, seems to me that uh, the property has never been of use to the city and to ask for a purchase price of over probably going to cost me $1,500 and the other three landowners also a shared amount. I think it would be appropriate for the city to just uh, forego that dollar five a square foot, call it even and take the tax money in perpetuity and uh, make everybody happy. Certainly would make me happy. Anyhow, it's a special situation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schroeder. <clears throat> Council, anyone care to address that? Okay. Uh, is it, uh, we've got a motion to approve uh, this final reading and a second. Uh, this is a roll call vote beginning with Bob. Aye. And uh, Scott. Aye. Bill. Aye. Mark. Aye. And Tom. Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item B. Resolution authorizing the sale of city property presented for city council's consideration is a resolution authorizing the sale of city property. In its previous action, city council took action to adopt the ordinance on final reading vacating public right of way in the city of Muscatine. It is now for city council to authorize the sale of the vacated public right of way. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Uh, Scott, and a second. 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 Second mark. Discussion, Council? It's a roll call vote beginning with Scott. Aye. Phil? Aye. Uh, mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. And Bob? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. <clears throat> Item C presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving the executed deed between the City of Muscatine and Linda L. Allison. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So I'll move your honor. Uh, Bob, and a second? Second. Second. Tom, discussion council? It's a roll call vote uh, beginning with Bob? Aye. And Scott? Aye. Bill? Aye. Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item D, presented for city council's consideration, is a resolution approving the ex executed deed between the city of Muscatine and Dennis E. and P. <laughs> Diane Schroeder. Uh, is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Tom? Second, Your Honor. Second, Phil. Any discussion, Council? Roll call vote beginning with Tom? Aye. Bob? Aye. Scott? Aye. Phil? Aye. And Mark? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item E. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving an executed deed between the City of Muscatine and Junior Castillo. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Uh, Scott? Second, anyone? Second, Your Honor. Second, Bob. Any discussion, Council? Uh, roll call vote again, beginning with Scott? Aye. Phil? Aye. Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. And Bob? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item F. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving an executed deed between the City of Muscatine and Daniel B. and Cynthia L. Clark. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Uh, Mark? Second. Second, Tom. Any discussion? Roll call beginning with Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Bob? Aye. Scott? Aye. And Phil? Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item G. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving the plans, specifications, form a contract, cost estimate, and setting the bid opening date for the Colorado Street Improvement Project. A public hearing for this project was held earlier in the meeting. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Scott? Second, Your Honor. Second, Phil. A discussion, Council? It's a roll call vote, beginning with Scott. I, no, I, I think Sorry? I would like to take into consideration Harvey's comments about it <clears throat> extending the sidewalk. It, it seems to make sense to me, and I'm, I don't know if there's a way to include that now or not. Well, it was done intentionally, and, and, and um, 
uh, presented to city council in that fashion as well. It's right. uh, designed to go down to the apartments, the residences there as well, it provides access obviously to the schools, the parks, the trails, um, and um, everything towards um, Park Avenue. However, the other direction on, on University, you have a short sidewalk to nowhere. Um, and you know, continuing on down to the intersection at this point doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. We'll have to make additional improvements uh, for pedestrian access across university. The sidewalks along university will occur as development occurs. And once that's built out and, and we have sidewalks actually to somewhere was the time at which we planned on continuing the sidewalks down to university and, and providing pedestrian access. But am I right? The development of those sidewalks would be incumbent on future property owners and developers? Along so, university? Yeah. Yes, that's typically what we've done out there. There's a couple of other technical issues with this. Sure. If we did make that change tonight, we would have to resubmit this whole to DOT, which would push the bid letting back. And also the property would have to be acquired. We do not own that property. So that would set things back too. So if anything is done with this project and the council chooses to do that, it most likely be, would be done with a change order when the project was underway. But, but properties still have to be acquired. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Randy. We're talking uh, numbers uh, less than $20,000 uh, for that sidewalk. Sure. So. Okay. Just for the sidewalk alone, though, right? Okay. Is this, is this something that we could... You want to handle this at a later date, then? If, if indeed, because... Is it change order? Yeah, as a change order. That would I, make I, sense. I think it would be appropriate. Yeah, at least to consider yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So We'd have to, you, you wouldn't act on it tonight. We'd have to make a change order once the project's later. awarded. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, motion to adopt the resolution as submitted. Uh, it's a roll call vote. Unless there's any other discussion, Council? Mm -mm. Okay, beginning with uh, Scott. Aye. Bill. Aye. Uh, Mark. Aye. Tom? Aye. And Bob? Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Item H, presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving the contract and bond for the Dawson Street Reconstruction Project. The bid for this project was awarded to All American Concrete Incorporated in the amount of $195,607.52 at the August 1, 2013 City Council meeting. It is now necessary to approve the contract and bond. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as presented? So moved. That uh, was Mark, I believe. Second. Second, Phil. Any discussion, Council? So we're going to deal with the sidewalk issue here that that I brought up last meeting. Um, a discussion of sidewalks later this month or next, or not Sep this month. Uh, we're going to bring back the discussion in September on sidewalks. Okay. okay. Anyone else? The roll call vote beginning with Mark. Aye. Tom. Aye. Bob. Aye. Scott. Aye. And Phil. Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item I presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution awarding the contract for the 2013 asphalt overlay program. Three bids were received for this project with a low bid from Brandt Construction in the amount of $192,204. The city allocated $250,000 for this project. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Tom. Second, Your Honor. Second, Bob, any discussion, Council? Your Honor, I uh, do, do have one question. If we allocated $250,000, then it's only cost us $192,000. Is there other uh, change orders that might come down the pipe that will add up to $250,000? <laughs> that the streets in the fourth ward, did you say? <laughs> that $250,000 includes the our cost share with DOT for Washington Street. So that's in another $47,000, okay. $48,000 on top of that one ninety five. So we come up about $11,000 under the $250,000. That's it. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Randy. Thank you, Randy. You're Any other uh, discussion, Council? <clears throat> Another roll call, vote beginning with Tom. Aye. Bob. Aye. Scott. Aye. Phil. Aye. And Mark. Aye. Motion carries five to zero. Item J, presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving rate adjustments in Title IV, Chapter 5, Sections 4 and 5, collection and drainage and sewage rates. 
The city recently contracted with uh, Veenstra and Kim to conduct a sewer rate study to determine proper funding for the water pollution control operations and reserve funds as well as the collection and drainage fund. Uh, the rate study recommendations include a 3% annual increase in sewer rates and a 2% annual increase in the collection and drainage rate over the next five years. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Mark? Second. Second. Scott, any discussion? Council? Beginning with uh, Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Bob? Aye. Scott? Aye. And Phil? No. Motion carries. You should say. Guys, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Item K, presented for City Council's consideration as a resolution approving the sewer connection fee for the North Crescent Sanitary Sewer Project. This project is an extension of the Mad Creek Sanitary Sewer intended to serve annexed areas located north and between the intersections of Highways 38 and 61 that is now complete and ready to serve the area. The cost for connecting is $913 per acre, which will be collected uh, by the city prior to issuance of a connection permit, of the connection permit. Uh, it is staff's recommendation, City Council, restrict any connections to this sewer to serve only property now within or voluntarily annexed in the future to the city of Muscatine. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Tom, and a second? Second. Second, Phil, any discussion? Roll call vote, beginning with Tom. Aye. And Bob. Aye. Scott. Aye. Phil. Aye. And Mark. Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Item L. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution awarding the contract for the Water Pollution Control Plant Lab Annex project. A total of six bids were received for this project with a low bid from Quality Construction in the amount of $483,108, which includes alternatives number one, number two, and number five. The engineer's estimate for this project was $570,000. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Bill? Second. Uh, second, Scott. Discussion, Council. Roll call vote, beginning with Phil. Aye. Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Bob? Aye. And Scott? Aye. Motion carries 5 to 0. Item M. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution setting a public hearing on the Weed Park Maintenance Building Project. The maintenance shop located at Weed Park has been, operate, has, has been operating out of its current location since 1973, and the facility is in need of replacement. City Council approved this project during the fiscal year 2013-2014 budget discussions. Prior to any formal action by City Council, a public hearing is required. This public hearing will take place on Thursday, September 5th, 2013 at 7 p.m. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Bill? Second. Uh, second is Tom. Any discussion? A roll call vote beginning with Phil? Aye. Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Bob? Aye. And Scott? Aye. Motion carries 5 to 0. Item N, presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution accepting a capital funding grant and CFP annual statements and authorizing housing administrator to execute the consolidated annual contributions contract on behalf of the Board of Commissioners. The Muscatine Municipal Housing Agency annually receives <laughs> capital funding grants for improving living conditions at Sunset Park and the Clark House. The allocation for fiscal year 2014 is $156,062. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Your Scott? Honor. Second. Second. Mark, any discussion at all, Council? A roll call vote beginning with Scott? Aye. Phil? Aye. Uh, Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. And Bob? Aye. Motion carries 5 to 0. Item O. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve the purchase of a sod cutter for the soccer complex. Three bids were received with a low bid from TurfWorks in the amount of $6,300 for a sod cutter with a Briggs and Stratton engine. There is $7,000 budgeted for this purchase. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. That was Mark. Second. Second, Tom. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries 5 0. Item P. 
presented for City Council's consideration is a request to purchase a deep tine aerifier for the soccer complex. Two bids were received with the low bid from TurfWorks in the amount of $21,600. There is $33,500 budgeted for this purchase. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So, so moved, move, Your Honor. Uh, I'll give that to Bob. And Phil, you want the second? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, any discussion, Council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 5 0. Q. Item Q, presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve the issuance of a purchase order for painting of the Muscatine Aquatic Center <laughs> pool basin. A total of four bids were received with a low bid from uh, Dryer Painting in the amount of $19,600. There is $25,000 budgeted for this project. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move. Scott. Second. Second, Mark. Any discussion? Question, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, in the uh, attached uh, file was, was something to do with concrete. Is the concrete bad too? Is there any need to be needing any concrete repair work or besides the painting? There are small spider cracks throughout the painting surface that will be repaired. They'll be etched out and repaired. That's the only concrete issues that are there. And that's part of the, the bid? That's part of it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Rich. Council, anyone else has, have questions for Rich or discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 5-0. Item R, presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve the 2013-2014 <coughs> City Deer Hunt. The Deer Hunt will take place from September 14, 2013 through January 19, 2014. If approved, the hunt will once again be for bow hunting on approved property uh, approved private property with two acres or more. Property owners may combine parcels to reach the two acre minimum. Hunters will be required to pass the required proficiency test. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Bill? Second. And second? Tom. Tom? Uh, discussion at all? Uh, voice vote, all those are, yeah, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay? Motion carries 5 0. I was going to ask where the proficiency test will be taking place at, but I'll, I'll check Please with you later. Me. Okay. Item S, presented for City Council's consideration, is a request to approve supplemental agreement number one for the Water Pollution Control Plant Lab Annex project. As a way to reduce costs for the project, <laughs> Stanley Consultants has proposed a supplemental agreement for services on an as needed basis. The supplemental agreement will be in an amount not to exceed $20,000. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Tom. Second, Your Honor. Second, Phil. Any discussion, <coughs> Council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries 5 0. Item T. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to authorize the purchase of a used vehicle uh, for the police department. A total of three bids were received with the lowest bid from Krieger Motors in the amount of $14,169 for a 2012 Chevrolet Malibu. There is $15,000 budgeted for this purchase. Is there a request to approve the request? Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, so moved. Your Honor. Ooh, that was pretty quick. We'll give that to Scott and a second to Bob. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries 5 0. Item U, presented for City Council's consideration, is a request to approve a professional services agreement for a petrographic analysis of runway 624 at the Muscatine or at the Municipal Airport. This runway has experienced several blow ups over the past three years. In an effort to minimize future blow ups and maintain the primary runway in acceptable condition, the city has been working with the Federal Aviation <coughs> Administration to develop a pavement maintenance strategy to replace and improve major sections of the runway. The FFA is recommending a uh, petrographic analysis to isolate exactly where the pavement distress is located and has agreed to reimburse the city for the cost of the analysis as part of the overall rehabilitation project. 
Therefore, as it is staff's recommendation, the professional services agreement with CTL, CTL Group be approved in the amount of $71,313. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Is that Phil? Okay, <coughs> and a second? Second. Second, Scott. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries 5 0. Item V, presented for City Council's consideration, is a request to authorize the purchase of a new ambulance chassis. Three bids were received. The low bid was from Meinzer Ford in the amount of $27,840. However, according to city policy, local vendors whose bid falls within 2% of the lowest qualified bid can be awarded the contract. Therefore, it is staff's recommendation the bid from Kruger Motor Company in the amount of $28,050 be accepted. There is $99,000 budgeted for an ambulance refurbishment. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Ooh, uh, Mark and Tom, you want the second? Sure. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries 5 0. Item W, presented for City Council's consideration, is a request from the Fire Department to issue a purchase order for in vehicle camera systems. Two bids were received for the vehicle camera systems with a low bid <coughs> from Celtic Incorporated in the amount of $5,462 to supply and install three in-vehicle camera systems in department ambulances. There is $5,500 budgeted for this capital outlay purchase. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move. Bob? Second. Second. Scott, uh, discussion? I do have one question, Your Honor, but I don't know if Greg... Mike Hartman is okay. here. Assistant Mike Chief. is here. I didn't see. It's not a, not a big thing here, but it says they've been shown to decrease maintenance for vehicles. Yeah, typically what the what the research has shown is that the, and it sounds bad, but the the drivers when they realize that there is a system that will catch them when they drive erratically, uh, do a better job of driving. Oh, okay. And that's that's been shown industry wide. So, I just didn't know the, the cause and effect there. Yes. Yep, uh, you know, less wear and tear on the brakes, all those kind of things related to, to driving a little bit better. Okay, thanks. Very good, <laughs> all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 5-0. <clears throat> Item X, the one we've been looking for. Presented for city council's consideration is a resolution accepting a 2013 CDBG <laughs> award for downtown revitalization. A grant proposal was submitted in January 2013 to revitalize the south sides of the 100 and 200 blocks of East 2nd Street. This project will enhance the backs of the buildings in this area and create a more pleasing visual experience to this downtown front door. The city's grant proposal received tentative approval for a $500,000 award in July 2013. It is now necessary for City Council to take action accepting the grant award. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So no moved. Move. That mark. And Tom for the second. Any discussion? This is a roll call vote beginning with Mark. Aye. Tom. Aye. Bob. Aye. Scott. Aye. And Phil. Aye. Motion carries. Five to zero. Well, it is now time for communications from council members, beginning with Councilman Lorette. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'd just like to say it's going to be a busy weekend downtown, and I'd invite everybody to come down for the Watermelon Festival uh, and the boat show. So I hope we'll see you all there. Thank you. Bill. I was glad to see our local preference policy played out for Gregor Motor, just so they won the contract on the, the ambulance chassis. So. That's all. Thanks, Phil. Scott? I have nothing tonight. Thank you. Okay. Bob? Nothing tonight, Your Honor. Councilman Tom? I have nothing to add, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fran? <laughs> She's busy writing. Oh. <laughs> Skipped me. Oh, I've been waiting for you to say, Greg. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Council, I sent you an email. I just want to make sure that you got it. I want you to think about it. On September 28th, we are going to, the ERC is going to have our second annual golf outing and you're all invited to attend if you would like. I sent you an email. I just wanted to make sure you look for it and read the information. 
We had a blast last year, <coughs> so it was great to see you come out. Mayor came out last year with his fishing pole. Yeah, part of the extracurricular activities. <laughs> and I plan to do it again this year. That's all I have. Okay, thank you, Frank. <laughs> Greg? Just one announcement, Your Honor. Uh, John asked me to announce that the RV and waste hauler dump site uh, will be shut down at the water pollution control plant for approximately two days, August 20th and 21st, for maintenance and inspection. We'll get it up as soon as possible. Very good. And, and I would simply echo and add to uh, Councilman Lorette's comments about uh, the festivities in Muscatine this weekend, in addition to the uh, uh, watermelon uh, fest in downtown and the boat show, which also includes car collectible cars and motorcycles. There's also a bass tournament on the riverfront. There's also a Vineyard Christian Fellowship Church. Uh, our neighbor here at uh, City Hall is having an annual or second annual block party, lots of games and toys for the kids, as well as I think some food, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, and some uh, good, uh, a lot of bands uh, playing Christian music. So, Where's uh, this at, Mayor? Pardon me? Where's this at? That's uh, uh, adjacent to the Riverview Center, Saturday afternoon. Vineyard Church. Yes. Okay. Vineyard Church is right next door. I know, and I, don't, I didn't remember a permit, so I was just wondering where they were going to have it at, but it's going to be down on the riverfront. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That's all I have. Any other business, Council? Motion to adjourn. to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Meetings adjourn. I'm glad you guys can Thank take you. up this.